hi guys welcome back to moya's walk i am so excited because i did not expect to get so many views and so many subscribers on the introduction video so thank you so much for your support and i know you're looking forward to seeing this video so i'm just gonna go right into it <laughs> Okay, so a few weeks ago, China had a national holiday. It was called the Dragon Boat Festival. And we had a weekend holiday and also the Monday off. So we decided to take advantage of that long weekend and we went on a trip to a nearby city called Qingdao. <laughs> Okay, so we spent three days and three nights in Qingdao and I'll be uploading three videos. Each video will highlight the activities we did on each day. So I hope you're looking forward to it. So let's get right into the first video. So on the Friday afternoon, right after work, we grabbed a car and we went into Qingdao and we slept the night. Woke up the morning bright and early looking forward for breakfast. We had breakfast at Subway. And why we were so excited? Because our city is a small city and we don't have Subway and Burger King. The only Western food franchise we have are McDonald's and KFC. So we were so anxious to get that Subway sandwich. So <laughs> we went to Subway. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't have more videos or pictures on that breakfast that we had in Subway. I was too anxious and excited. I had no time to record anything because I was so looking forward to having that sandwich. But anyways, right after breakfast, we went to the Qingdao Aichang Polar Ocean Water Park. This park had four sections and we first went to the polar aquarium so let's take a look Our second stop was the Happy Theater, where we saw some extraordinary animals. I am not quite sure if they are called seals or walruses. Like, drop a comment below and let me know if it's a seal or if they are seals or they are walruses. I have no idea, honestly. Um, but that was our second stop. So. <laughs>
was the deep sea fantasy museum um it was basically some fish in some glass and some jars and things but I, it was beautiful and it's a good place to bring kids i think so they can look at the animals but it was beautiful take a look <laughs> was the 5d movie theater um it was my first time experiencing 5d it was mm, so so um it we watched a cartoon and it's a chinese ca um animation rather a chinese animation <laughs> and the the seats were moving in parts of the animation and making sounds and there was like hair foaming through the seats i'm not actually sure but based on my perspective they were coming through at the wrong point in time so it was just okay but i recorded a short portion of it you can see yes and the film was in chinese my chinese is basic so i understood only maybe 50 percent of what was happening but it's an animation so you can just look and see and pick sense of the nonsense so let's see <laughs> Okay, so after we left the 5D theater, we decided to eat something. We There was a restaurant there in the Ocean Park and we ordered some things and um, I really didn't eat because I had still had a piece of my Subway sandwich left. So I just ate that. So... After we had something to eat, we stopped, took a few pictures, and decided, because we already planned our itinerary, Trisane, already planned our itinerary. Let me tell you, this girl is a planner, but that talk is for another day. Yes, so <laughs> um, we had planned to go to a mountainside, and where we would travel on the lift and view the mountain area and the city, and, you know, take pictures. But... Due to our bad luck, it was very, very foggy on that day. So there was not much to see. So once we exited the museum, we saw this guy saying, taxi, asking us, taxi. So because we normally use an app to call for a taxi, we said no, because we're, Tristan was about to call the cab with their phone. So we said, it, we couldn't pick up our location. So um we decided to ask the guy okay taxi can you take us to our, this place right when remember no we don't really talk chinese okay 
So we kind of struggled through and we showed him where we wanted to go. And he said, no, 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 no. It's not good, not good. I will take you to another place where you can have more fun and blah, 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 blah. It's better. We said, okay, this is man is Chinese and he's from this city. So cool. Let's go with him. So he drove us a few meters up the road and took us to uh, another place now. <laughs> this place is called the Qingdao Yinhai Sailing Club. That's where he took us. And okay, so fine, cool, no problem. We went, paid the money, which was a lot more than we expected, but okay. We paid the money, so foggy day, right? And we can't go to the mountainside because we can't see anything. We paid and we went in. So you can take a look. We went on a boat ride. Okay, now halfway into this ride, we got bored because we are just riding around and looking and so we got so bored. Anyway, we went back and um, it was a half an hour um, ride. After the half an hour was finished, we went back. So we decided now to call a taxi to go back to our hotel where we can um, prepare for dinner. What? As soon as we were there, you know, Jamaicans were really a custom man now, you know, I say, oh, we tell you, oh, the place is nice and good, and we must go and go look, and it did just boring, we just got on the boat, pay so much money, and I look, it did boring. So, <laughs> we, once, when we did the custom man, we see, him we see, park right at the gate, come out of him car. We said, okay, good to see you now. Can you take us to our hotel? Our hotel is this place. The man said, no, you can only drive within a particular area. That man was waiting by the ocean park to find people to take only to that sailing center. And <laughs> he only told us, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Because he can only drive us there. He couldn't drive us to the the." mountainside where we wanted to go but we got a little scan but it was so so <laughs> it was so so anyway after that we went to our hotel then we went and have dinner with some chinese friends didn't do a lot of videos um just a few photos you can take a look was day one it was fun it was interesting we really enjoyed the ocean park it was cool we that was our most favorite the sailing um can, yeah it can go on <laughs> and dinner also was also can go on um but yeah that was it we had fun despite all the other things we did have fun and um i hope you're looking forward to see what we did on our second day which i think was yeah more interesting probably <laughs> so you know like comment share subscribe to my channel i would like to um tr i would try and share videos every friday or every two weeks if i'm not able to but i'll try my best to have one for you every friday um yeah if you want to see more if you have any questions if there's something that you want to know or see just let me know okay cool so i also wanted to impart some of my chinese knowledge hey <laughs> i am not a chinese teacher and i am also just a so-so chinese student so i am not going to promise anybody say my pronunciation them the point them just so so i will try 
and share one Chinese word with you at the end of all my videos. Remember, I'm not a teacher, I'm just a student, and I am just a so-so student. So I'm not sure if my pronunciations are on point, but they are accurate enough for somebody to understand. If I won't go into details about how characters and pinging and all those things work, I would just say and show the character and the pinging and you can just repeat and follow. Cool? Alright. So, our first word we will learn is hello. Like everybody always know hello when you're in China. Everybody say hello. Hello. Yeah, in many different ways. They sing it. Hello. They shout it. Hello. So, <laughs> we can try and say hello in Chinese too, right? <laughs> so, Hello in Chinese, we have two characters. The first one is ni, ni, and this means you. Yeah, ni means you. The second one is how, how, and how means good. So basically together it means you good, but it actually means hello. So, ni hao, ni hao, yeah, that's it, <laughs> that's it. So, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, and this was Moya's Walk. Thank you very, very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.